Hello, my legion of little goblins. This is Gamer Dragon, and welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. What's new with you? I Hi saw there. some mud crabs by the water recently. I did. Hello there, associate. You're here for a recommendation, I presume. Are you prepared to earn it? Hell yes. I'm afraid I haven't had time to prepare anything conventional. I'm very preoccupied with this situation concerning Ardalin. Perhaps you can help with that, however. I can't directly get involved for fear of embarrassing the poor girl. I'll need you to have a little chat with Varen Vamori, and you can learn something about the power of illusion in the process. Okay. Don't say anything to her. I don't want to embarrass her further. Once this is all taken care of, I'll speak to her privately. I don't understand it. Some ridiculous male thing, I suppose. He's been bothering Ardeline every day for a while now. He even stole her mage's staff. Perhaps Rude. he thinks it's amusing. I don't know. But it needs to stop. It's making her miserable. It's more symbolic than practical, but each carries great significance to its owner. You're going to get Arteline's staff back. Take this charm scroll. With it, you should find Varon more receptive to questioning. Don't come back without that staff. Okay. Each lo- Each lo- God damn it. Make sure Varon hands over that staff. I'm Arteline. Have a look around. Oh, you, you won't find better prices in all Tamriel. I have not found an orange yet in this game. Damn. Knowledge is power. Okay, so you're Good the... Good day. You're the alchemist. Delphin Jen. Cool. Only quality goods got? for sale here. What can I interest you in? I'll buy some of these bales. Of course I don't. Thank you. All right. Let's see here. I will put that in an illusion. That's an illusion. To work on my all right charm for 12 points we're gonna use this one good day Hello, friend. What can I do for you? Yeah, what the fuck is up with Ardeline? I don't know what to say. All I want is for her to care about me, to feel the same way as I do about her. But she doesn't. I try and I try, and it just doesn't matter. It makes me furious sometimes. And that's why you stole her staff? All right, I admit it. I took it from her. I, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. I was trying to tell her how I feel. 
again, and she wouldn't even stop to talk to me. I just got so angry. I was a little ashamed afterwards, but I didn't know how to apologize or give it back. I wish I could. I'm afraid I don't have it anymore, you see. I... I sold it to a friend of mine, Saurus Aranum. Are you kidding me? He lives in the Talos Plaza district of the Imperial City. He's the one who has Ardeline's staff now. I want to bang my head against something Tell very Ardeline hard. I'm sorry. I also want to smash your head Hello. against something hard. Have you heard about that ghost of the old man that looks out into Nibbon Bay each night? They're calling him the Forlorn Watchman. Spooky. I hope I can help. Yeah, tell me about this forlorn watchman. I don't know much about that ghost, but some say he died in a horrible shipwreck. I would stay away from him if I were you. Bad omen. Oh. Each night he wanders the shore of Nibbon Bay. Then he stops and looks mournfully out to sea. If you're interested, you may want to see Gilgondoran at Silverholm on the water. When it comes to local legends, he's the best source in town. Cool. I'll look into that later. Good Goodbye. to see you. Any luck talking with Varon? <sighs> Varon Vamori should give it to you once you've persu- He sold it, huh? Well, this just keeps getting worse. Very well. I presume he gave you some indication of yeah. where the staff is now located? Take these and go resolve the situation. And of course, please keep this just between us. Get that staff back, associate. I'm on it. Hail, good citizen. Ooh, get my way. Be of service. Can't be of service. Good to see you. What is it now? Samuel Bantian used to be a wild one. They say he used to be quite a good day, stranger. Saurus Aranim is my name. Nice to meet you. I'm looking for a staff. As much as I like you, friend, I'm just not willing to part with that staff. It's nothing personal. Certainly. I appreciate the gesture. Look, I can't just give it to you. I paid good money for it, after all. I'll tell you what. You give me at least a portion of what I paid for it. Say, 200 gold, and I'll give you the staff. That's a good deal, right? I wouldn't offer it to anyone else, just you. So, what do you say? It's a deal. I'll just take the money from you, then. And here's your staff. <laughs> now, since our business is concluded, you must excuse me. Good day. Greetings, Dunmer. I really have to work on my illusion. Excuse me, my lady. I wonder what she's saying to him. Do you have them? Yes, I do. Ah, wonderful. I shall be most pleased to return this to its rightful owner. Thank you. You needn't tell me the details of what was involved in getting it. It's perhaps better that I know nothing about it. I just used to Your smell. Your actions for the guild more than merit a recommendation. I shall send it to the university promptly. And to thank you more personally, I shall teach you this spell. You may find it useful in certain circumstances. Cool. I take my duties as chapter head very seriously, unlike some guild mages. It infuriates me how casual some guild heads are about common civility. Like that 
Dunson Bruma. Please, I'm in. I don't suppose you could help me locate my friend Henantir, could you? I miss him so. We were study mates at the Arcane University, and we've come to grow fond of each other over the years. He's just not very smart. He's always getting himself into jams with the careless ways he performs his experiments. And, well, I'm afraid he's done it again. Oh, good. I'm going to level with you as you seem like you wish to help. Henantir isn't missing. On the contrary, I know exactly where he is. The problem is, he's trapped and there's no way I can free him. Why the deception? Well, Henantir's been warned that if he strays outside the guild rules one more time, he may be up for summary dismissal. Ooh. The rules say that he isn't to practice dangerous experiments at his home. It must be done in the guild under the watchful eye of an associate. Henantir's never been one for rules, and so he's continued to perform his latest experiments in secret. If word gets out, he'll be dismissed. Okay, then. Great. Whatever suits you and gets me Henantir back suits me just fine. When you're ready to go and see him, let me know. But please, do hurry. Are you ready to follow me to Henantir? Yes, ma'am. Lead the way. Fantastic. Let's be off then. Hello. With literally no sense of urgency, of course. Like everything else Hi in this there. game. What's new with you? They say syndicates of wizards have led. Like, for fuck's sake, people. Can we please move along? Like, literally run to the problem. So that we can solve it as soon as humanly possible. I get his house is right here. Well, as you can see, Henantir's right here, and he's trapped in his dream world. <sighs> I told him that trying to travel into one's own dreams is risky, but as usual, he didn't listen to me. Always has to do things his way. Henantir constructed a magical device he called the Dream World Amulet. With this device, one can enter his own mind and experience dreams. True, but this is different. When you enter your dreams with the amulet, you're in full command of a dreamlike replica of yourself. Ah. All your thoughts, your skills, and your talents travel there with you. Think of it as exploring a new land, but a land within your own mind. Henantir created the amulet to see if he could use his dreams as a training ground to help better himself. I don't know all of the details, but the amulet is a conduit to get to that training ground. It's been three days, and he's been stuck in his dreams. I've watched him all that time, or and he hasn't been up at all. The only way to save him is to put on the dream world amulet and go to sleep. Only then can you hopefully find out what's happened in there. Why haven't you tried? I fear that anyone he knows won't be able to help him in there. Since I'm in his memories, he may dismiss me as a figment of his dreams. The only chance is for a total stranger to enter his dreams. When you're ready to do this, I'll give you the amulet. Only I know the secret way it can be removed from his neck. Oh, I'm ready. You'll have to be very careful in there. If Henantir intended it as a training ground, there's no telling what you may encounter. A lot of bullshit. My poor... Don't take this social light. 
Are you prepared? Yeah, let's get that over with. Use the extra bed here. If you sleep too far from Henantir, it may not work. I'll watch over you both to make sure you're safe. Oh my, I almost forgot. Henantir once told me that if he's killed in his dreams, anyone that's in there with him will die as well. So do be careful. Oh, you didn't think to tell me this sooner. Now is the time for sleep. How I wish I could go with you. Now that is a pretty amulet. My word, you startled me. Are you real? have to do I've lost my way this place looks so familiar but I can't remember how I got here can you help me yeah this place is so strange dream world you say it's more like a nightmare I don't like this place at all I feel like I shouldn't be here you should it. There must be an exit around here somewhere. I'd explore this place, but I'm afraid I just don't have the courage to do so. How could I be so careless? What's the matter with me? Maybe you'll I know I've this. lost something. Yes, that's it. I I've lost many things in this strange place. Would you please help me? That's why I'm here. Dumbass. Oh, good. Right, I can't use magic. Why I can't and say for certain. Oh, yay. Must get out of this place. I'm working on it. Here's scroll. This is gonna help us find our way through. We have to look at the symbols. Oh, so, pretty straightforward. Take the one on the far left, and then follow down to one before. Oh, please tell me I'm right about the far left. <laughs> no! I'm an idiot. I was gonna upside down, wasn't I? Yeah, I probably was. Okay, this one's a little easier. Oh, 
Up one and then over three. So bad. Oh my god. I'm gonna go up two, two, three, four. There we go. Two over four. Screw it. Perception. When the few torches will actually eat. Perception E. All you have to do is look at the ground. We must get out of this place. Okay, down there, down there. For that. Easy. Please. 
I feel as though I'll be trapped here forever. And I don't even know why. Because you're a dunce who doesn't think. But how? What you say must be the truth. I feel strange. I can see now what you were saying was no story at all, but the truth. And I'm a fool. Very much I so. I had no idea that the amulet could hold such a power over me. I set out to create a way to conquer my failings, but it seems the tables had turned, and they conquered me. Clearly. I don't know how you did it, but I thank you. Now, we must wake from this dream and take our places in the real world again. Farewell. The end of the world of the living. Ah! I'm naked! Everything just get back on. Where did I put on my ring? It's good to see you in the real world. I'm indebted to you for rescuing me from my nightmare. Yeah, I suppose be. thanks are only a small token of my appreciation. Allow me to reward you for your bravery. I'm afraid I don't have much in the way of coin, but allow me to present you with something that may help in your travels. Cool. It sounds like there are an awful lot of problems at the Bruma Guildhall. Jean does a poor job of running that place. Someone in this guild admits it besides the, her Farewell, staff. Fam. What do you mean I can't equip this item? Hello, was now that Henantir has returned, things are as they should be. Cool. I do hope our paths cross again. Oh, read us. Better get over to the Imperial City Hello, at some point. Associate. Oh, we'll be right back. Alright. This is the guy we want to talk to. Gilgondrin. Silver home on the water has beds and food. What's your pleasure? The forlorn watchman. The watchman looks like he may have been a sailor. No one knows where he came from, or why he looks so sad. I don't like talking about the dead like they're some kind of tourist attraction, but that spirit has been making his ghostly journey for years now. We've learned to just accept that he's there. Every night, short as clockwork, he appears at Bonwatch Camp at 8 on the shore of Nibbin Bay. He's never harmed anyone, but most people give him a wide berth. You seem curious enough, so I'll be glad to pinpoint where he appears on your map. Oh, I've been there. Take care. What's this? <laughs> Reign of burning dogs, expert bewildered. Oh my god. Yeah. Word of what Shagorth and I did is spread like wildfire. So, um, yeah, he's already begun his round, so... Oh, what enemies? Oh, stupid mud crab. Take care of it. How the fuck? There. Now, 
just gonna wait till 7 p.m. 7.58 p.m. There he be. Let's follow him and see where he go. How is it that I walk slower than people who walk? his body even got over there. I mean, I assume that's where his body is, or was, or so-and-so. That's a wolf. I know where he's. I know what he's what he's looking at. I just wish he would hurry up and get there. Like we've been walking for an hour. Oh wait, no wait, his body's still on his ship. Why does his ghost go there? Or irony. Should be here by now. Getting close to being there. I was once the man known as Grantham Blinkley. Look for me in the mouth of the panther. Please release me. Good thing, dude. Let me, uh. Need to talk to no one. I know what what, what I'm looking for. Like I pretty much found the location earlier. This is 
why you have a silver sword. Tired. Go to sleep after this. Okay, let's just take produce that has been in an abandoned ship for Lord knows how long. Not like I'm gonna eat it. I'm just gonna use it to brew potions. And then eat it! So brilliant, am I right? That dude's haunting and spooky, and I don't like him at all. Bye, bitch. Oh, cool. Repair hammer. Someone with unyielding virtue would heed my words and speed my release. You risk much to perform such a selfless act. This noble deed will not go unrewarded. Look upon the ground in this prison. There you will find a map to my gratitude. I thank you with all my heart. Farewell. See you later, dude. So, a little further up the river, between two boulders. Bitch! That actually scared me. I love getting scared by ghosty goose. Right by Black Dog Camp. Oh, good grief. Jerk Waffle. Nice, some mace. Now, let's see. Next, 
Might have been all the quests I could had to do in Braville. Well, um, shit. I guess I'll be you guys in Standguard. All right, so one last quest before we wrap this video up, and I'm the dummy who forgot about it. A pleasure to speak with you. Likewise. Oh. Take care. Can you help me find my lost jumbo potatoes? Sure. Please, you must help me find them. If I don't have them for the next batch of my famous potato bread, I don't know what I'll do. How stupid I was to leave them outside all alone like that. All I wanted to do was give them some sun. Next thing I knew, they were gone. I saw someone running off to the west, but I'm too frightened to journey into the woods alone. Please, can you help me? I'll pay you well, I swear. Easy enough. Let's see who would be so malicious as to steal some jumbo potatoes. Who steals potatoes? I, I love potatoes, mind you. But I wouldn't go as far as stealing potatoes. Let's see, I see... Big Ogre over there. Well, there's the potatoes. Well, that was a quick, easy, good quest. Hello. You have them. You have them. I can sense they're with you. Here you go. Oh my goodness, you found them. Oh, I could kiss you. Please don't. As promised, I owe you a reward for your efforts. I present you with my first batch of famous potato bread. More valuable than gold. Enjoy. Yay! Safe journey to you. I have potato bread. Ooh, it's got Detect Life. I am currently- now I am going to try and get my illusion up to Journeyman standing so I can learn invisibility. All the while I'm gonna find Dave. Based on the coffins, I'd say Necromancer. The fire's not blue, so it's quite possibly... Vampire. It's quite the mystery, I'm afraid. <sighs> Alright, let's discover the location of this inn. I am getting so sick of seeing these effing imps everywhere! I know y'all saw that. Okay, here's the end of Ill Omen. We'll come back here later on. Anyway, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.
And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. I'm so tired.